Finally, I will buy. It only took you a couple years, but our wish came true. Now we can attach the map data from one robot to another. No longer do you have to sit there and wait for the robot to map out your floor plan. Just transfer the data and you should be good to go. Well, is it that easy? There's always a catch. Hey guys, how's it going? All right, so I received the latest update from iRobot and received an email from them talking about this latest update. So basically this update has a few core features. For example, if you have the J7 or J7 Plus with that active camera avoidance system, you can avoid socks and shoes. That's the new objects built into its database. Also, if it recognizes a uh, Christmas tree, we actually recommend a clean zone. Very cool feature. So yes, your presents don't accidentally get wrapped prematurely by the vacuum sucking them up. Okay, but the biggest feature is the ability to transfer map data from one robot to another. So how this process works is, if you have the J7, i7, i6, i8, or S9, you could transfer the map data. Now, this only works for robots that have the iADAPT 3.0 navigation. Unfortunately, it does not work with like the i4, i3, or any of the lower models. All right, so it's really designed for someone who just bought a new robot, for example, the Bravo Jet M6, and they just unbox it for the first time, and they're setting up through the smartphone. So once you get to the setup process, there'll be a pop-up saying, hey, would you like to transfer the data over? And you just transfer the data over. Very seamless process. I did try this, and it worked very, very well. Now, here's the caveats. There's always a catch. I did try to go to the settings. I had this guy previously mapped on my upstairs. I wanted to see if I could do like a basement. Unfortunately, it would not allow me to do that. I had to factory reset the robot. And iRobot did state that in their email that it's designed for someone who just got a new robot and want to transfer the map over. Now, you could reset the robot and uh, start it fresh and that process will work. Now, let's talk about how this process works between the different models. So, if you have a J7, you can transfer it to a new J7 or one that's been factory reset, or you can do it to the i7, you can do it to the i6, the i8, S9, etc. Or you can do it to the Bravo Jet M6. Now, one thing to know is you cannot take the Bravo Jet M6 map and transfer it to any of the well, vacuums or the Roombas. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, so now let's talk about the shoe avoidance. It worked pretty well. Uh, I've been testing this out, I did it with some fake poo, and the J7's optical avoidance is pretty good and I had no problems with this new update so that's a nice update I'm glad that iRobot is expanding the database so good job so I hope you like this video this was just a quick update it's a small update that had a couple core features but the biggest feature is now being able to transfer the map data which is a nice uh, touch all right so before we begin uh, there's a couple coupons down below I'll put up on the screen here you can save some money if you want to buy a new robot and uh, have a nice clean home for the holidays. Alright, have a great rest of your day. Catch you later. Adios. Bye.